et bienvenue à Learn French with Alexa. Today, folks, we are going to cover the second part uh, titled Creepy Crawlies or Insects, Les Petits Insectes. Okay, so let's get on with it. Here we go. Here's the first word. Une fourmi. That's an ant. Une fourmi. Have a look at that. Okay, fourmi. Okay, remember to repeat after me to practice your accent, really. Here's another one. Une abeille. Répétez. Une abeille. Très bien. Magnifique. Une, uh, sorry, not une, un scarabée. And that's a beetle. Un scarabée. Un scarabée. Okay. Another uh, one. Un papillon. I love this one. Un papillon. My favorite word. Un papillon. Superb. Un papillon. Très bien. That's a butterfly. Une chenille. Une chenille. And that's the caterpillar. Caterpillar? Une chenille. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Une chenille. If you know how to pronounce that word, just uh, leave a comment. Thanks. Um, un grillon. And that's a cricket. Un grillon. Very hard word to read. Have a look at this one. When you have I double L in the word in French, it's a Y sound. Okay, so remember, gr, I, yon, grillon. Ooh, gr, grillon. Okay. Une libellule. And that's a dragonfly. Une libellule. See, I'm not sure what's better. The word in English, the dragonfly, or the libellule. Quite like libellule. It's a bit like papillon. Or coccinelle, like ladybird. Une libellule. Okay? Now, here's an earwig. Un perce-oreille. That literally means piercing, piercing your ears. Un perce-oreille. And oreille means ear. Un perce-oreille. Une mouche. And that's a fly. Une mouche. Okay. Now, uh, for those people who, uh, who can speak French, you know that moucher means to blow your nose as well. Okay. So if you want to say that a fly is blowing her nose, you would say une mouche se mouche. <laughs> I thought you might find that funny. Okay. Une sauterelle. And that's a grasshopper. Une sauterelle. Okay, so that's the end of the list. Let's have a look at it again and try to remember. Okay, here we go. Une fourmi. That's an ant. Une fourmi. Très bien. Une abeille. That's a bee. Une abeille. Un scarabée. I like that word too. Un scarabée. Superb. Un papillon. Un papillon. Excellent. Une chenille. Une chenille. Un grillon. Un grillon. Okay, that's a cricket. Une libellule. There's a lot of le, le sound. Libellule. Okay. Libellule is a dragonfly. Une, uh, sorry, un perce-oreille. Un perce-oreille, that's an earwig. Un perce-oreille. Personally, I really do not like these little creepy crawly things. Un perce-oreille. Une mouche. Une mouche. Now, remember what I said earlier on? How do you say a fly is blowing her nose or its nose? Une mouche se mouche. <laughs> not that it will ever come useful in a conversation, by the way. But I thought you might enjoy the sentence. Une sauterelle. And that's a grasshopper. Une sauterelle. Now, literally, sauter means to hop or to jump. Okay? Sauterelle. See? In the word sauterelle, you've got the word sauter at the very beginning. Sauter. To jump. Okay? Now, before we finish, let's have a look at this picture. And can you name this insect? That's right. It is une Fourmi. Une 
for me. Okay, here is another one. Uh -huh. Une abeille. That's a bee. Une abeille. And the last one. Remember, lots of l's in it. Une libellule. Libellule. Okay? So, have a look at the list again. Try to practice the list and put this into sentences such as, you could say, for example, Une mouche est à côté de la chenille. So, a fly is next to the caterpillar. Or, une chenille est caterpillar. À côté de, next to. Okay? Or, you could put another one saying, La libellule, or une libellule, est dragonfly. Est sur la plante. La libellule est sur la plante. The dragonfly is on the plant. And so on. Why don't you practice putting this word into sentences for me? And leave your comments because I always correct what you have to say. Okay? And I love talking to you as well. That's it for me. Uh, au revoir. À bientôt. I shall say bisous, bisous. Kiss, kiss. Au revoir. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already and uh, to get access to all the videos I've created and there is more to come. Bye-bye.